Welcome back to BlueFX.net. This is the second part of the tutorial for rendering and here you will see how you can um, set up multiple projects and render once. So you set up um, two, three, four projects and get them ready to render and then you render all of them at once so you don't waste time. Um, rendering, then edit, editing another project, then waiting again for rendering, and so on. So, in this example, we have um, one of my templates. It's called Logo Reveal, and we're gonna render this out. Now, you may want to make multiple uh, versions of this template. For instance, one of the versions will be with uh, one logo, the other one with another logo, or a, a different text. Here we're gonna test only the different text versions, so it goes um, faster. So let's see, let's change the text. This is the text composition, and we will name this one website1.com. Okay. Let's go back to the main composition. Now if we add this to the render queue by going to composition, make movie, and then making another modification, going back here to the main composition and now changing the text to website to like this and then uh, bringing it again to the render queue by making move composition make movie then you would expect to have two different videos the first one with website number one and the second one with website number two but unfortunately this is not the case after effects uh, will render out the same video twice in this setup so he will render out website number two twice but there is a solution there is a workaround so let's just delete the render queue items for now and go back to our uh, main composition and let's make a folder let's call this folder one now you drag in all of the elements of the of this project into this one folder like this okay now you open this folder and uh, you just edit the text to website 1 okay let's go back to the project panel Good. And now we make another folder. This will be called number two. And in this number two, we're gonna re import the same project. So that means we don't copy it again, we re import it from, the, from going to file, import, file, and selecting the project. So this is the template that we are using click open now we have the same project imported twice in this case we can um, change the um, the elements separately so um, let's go into the um, second folder and start changing let's start change the changing the text okay let's write in here website number two good now let's close the folder let's trail it up and we would like to render these two videos now what we're gonna do is first we open the first one number one and go to its main composition it's very important that you open the main composition that is located in the first folder. So open this up. OK. 
okay as you can see we have website number one text here yes and uh, now we're gonna add this to the render queue by going to composition make movie good this is just a leftover we'll delete the first one so this is the first video okay now twirl up the number one and open the number two folder again please be very careful that you open the main composition from the number two folder open it and you can see we have website number two here now we're gonna add this one to the to the render queue go to composition make movie and here we're gonna have two different movies two elements in the render queue but this time if we hit render the um, the videos will be different so uh, after effects we render two versions of the project so let's just hit render by the way when you hit no render now after effects will automatically render all of the elements here so you don't need to do anything it will work automatically so you will have two videos rendered at the same time so I'll just click render now now we're rendering the second video now let's see the two videos that we just rendered let's see this is the first one as you can see website number one this is the first one okay and here we have the second it's website number two so this way we created two videos and we had to set up everything just once now imagine if you're rendering if your render time is uh, two or three hours long you don't have to edit the project then wait three hours then edit the project again what you could do is maybe set up two three five projects five video projects like this add them all to the render queue and hit render and let the render uh, process overnight or when you are not using your computer or if you need to use your computer some at times you can um, also render with uh, the background renderer with the background renderer script that uh, uh, this one that I have showed you on the other uh, video tutorial so I hope this was useful and I hope it was clear enough to understand in case you have any questions please leave a comment under this video tutorial thank you for your patience and hope to see you soon bye